Hey everybody, today is April 16th, 2020. In this video, we're going to talk about the numerology of the death of longtime WWE ring announcer Howard Finkel. News of this man's death broke earlier today. He's passed away at the age of 69. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic numerology of his death. We'll talk about how the numbers of the circle are coded into his age as well as his birthday. And then we're also going to compare the numerology of his death to the owner of WWE, Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon took over for his father, Vince Sr. Even though the WWE has been around since the year 1953, Vince McMahon founded Titan Sports in 1980. And as we get into the back half of this post, we'll see how the death of Howard Finkel was completely connected to the establishment of Titan Sports 40 years ago. Now on this channel, we talk about the language of gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words. We start with the most basic cipher, English ordinal, numbering the alphabet 1 through 26, each letter relative to its position in the alphabet. The reduction methods then use the rules of numerology to reduce each double-digit number to a single digit. We'll also glance at the large number ciphers, Jewish and English gematria, as we do in just about every video. So first off, let's start off with the fact that Howard Finkel has passed away at the age of 69. Using the alphabetic order, where each letter is numbered 1 through 26, the name Howard gives us a value of 69. In English extended gematria, another method that uses the current 26-letter alphabet, structuring the numeric system similarly to ancient Hebrew gematria and Greek, Greek isopsophy, notice how the word announcer sums to 609, and of course with the zero dropped, this yields yet another 69. Down in the description below, you'll see a link to my video on the circle in language and how this English language is coded around the mathematics of the circle. Well, of course, in order to resolve the mathematics of the circle, we need pi. Now, in Jewish gematria, pi has a value of 69. This is the same as circles in the alphabetic order, 69, the age at which Finkel died. Howard was born on June 7th of 1950 meaning that on the date he died, he was 314 days after his 69th birthday. And of course, you probably recognize 314 as the first three digits of pi. The smallest equation you can use to get the first three digits of pi is 22 divided by 7. Notice how in the alphabetic order, this equation has a value of 314. And here's the equation on a calculator where you get 22 divided by 7, giving us the first three digits of pi. Howard Finkel was born in the year 50. In the alphabetic order, the word circle equals 50. And the letter that's shaped like a circle, the O, gives us a Jewish gematria value of 50. Furthermore, Howard Finkel's June 7th birthday can be written 7 slash 6. The word pi gives us 76 using prime numbers. Also worth pointing out that the name Finkel sums to 120, just like the word circle, 120 in Jewish gematria. And this brings us to Vince McMahon whose name sums to 120 in the alphabetic order. Again, Vince McMahon, a third-generation promoter of, of uh, professional wrestling, took over his father's company, and then in 1980, founded a new company. So again, the WWE started in 1953 under the management of his father, or grandfather, I can't remember which from that far back. And then the company was reincorporated in 1980.
So on the date that this company was reincorporated as Titan Sports, February 21st of 1980, Vince McMahon was born on August 24th of 1945. This means that when he founded Titan Sports, he was a span of exactly 12,600 days old. Now, this is very significant. First of all, in the alphabetic order reversed, this is the cipher, same as English ordinal, but reversed, where Z is 1 and A is 26. Notice how Titan Sports gives us a value of 126. Also, in Sumerian gematria, which is the alphabetic order times 6, the number of time, Titan Sports equals 1,026. So we get double gematria of 1026. Let me scroll down here. Well, the name Howard Finkel also sums to 126 in the alphabetic order. And if you measure from the anniversary of the founding of Titan Sports to the death of Howard Finkel, who, by the way, is the company's longest tenured employee. Very interesting 666 here, but what's more significant is that this was one month and 26 days after the company's anniversary. Now, that company was founded in 1980, which was 40 years ago. In the alphabetic order, Finkel's nickname, Fink, sums to 40. And the date on which he passed away, you'll see, also has standard numerology of 40. 40 also the reverse reduction value of the word circle. So let's talk a little bit more about this circle riddle. In Hebrew gematria, the word circle sums to 44 and 143. Hebrew, the language where gematria is believed to have originated. Now this is significant because Howard Finkel was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame on the date 4 slash 4. That happened in the year 2009. Think about how pi sums to 29 in reverse. Measuring from the date of his induction ceremony to the date he died gives us 11 years and 13 days with the end date. Now, if you multiply 11 times 13, you get the number 143, the Hebrew gematria of circle. And again, all of this will make a lot more sense if you've seen my video on how the circle crafted the language. Again, that's linked below. So as I've been teaching for several years, I believe that the circle is coded with the mark of the beast in the book of Revelation. And some people believe the beast itself is time, so this makes sense as we keep time on a circular clock. Well, notice how the word beast equals 198 in Jewish gematria. Isn't it interesting that ring announcer Howard Finkel, ring announcer equals 198? Howard Finkel, summing to 198. He died on the date April 16th, which also sums to 198. As far as Vince McMahon's age on today's date, I found something very interesting. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on uh, Rand Paul. And there was this interesting riddle with him and his father. Rand Paul was 20,895 days old. His father was 30,895 days old the day before that. This 895 is a significant number. Notice how Rand Paul sums to 33. Well, in Jewish gematria, 33 equals 895. This is the same value as ritual human sacrifice, which is a reason why I believe 33 is coded so often into these rituals. So not only does the name Howard equal 33, so does his last name, Finkel, 33. 
This is also the reduction value of circles. If we measure from Vince McMahon's birthday to the date that Howard Finkel died, notice how he was exactly 3,895 weeks old. But there's more to this. If you instead just measure the months, you find he's also 895 months old. So Vince McMahon with the number 895 coded into his age twice on today's date, lining up with the death of his ring announcer, the, mo the longest tenured employee in the company's history. A couple more alignments I want to glance at. We checked out the uh, English Sumerian cipher earlier. Isn't it interesting how Vince McMahon equals 720? The same as the Jewish value of Titan Sports, 720. You also get a 72 in reduction. This is significant because ring announcer sums to 72 in both our reduction ciphers. ESPN then gave us a headline that has gematria of 720. Perhaps this is a nod to the understanding of what this was a numeric ritual for. A couple other things worth mentioning. mentioning. The word announcer equals 105. This is the reverse value of Finkel, 105. And think about how the circle is the 15th letter of the alphabet. Also in Sumerian Gematria, announcer equals 630. Howard Finkel equals 63 in both reduction methods. And his date of birth had numerology of 63. Now in regards to what actually killed Howard Finkel, the way I've talked about this in this video, you'd think that this is a standard murder by numbers. I don't necessarily believe that Howard Finkel was murdered. After all, this man suffered a stroke back in late 2018 and has been unhealthy for about a year and a half. So I suppose it's possible he was killed. However, I believe this is probably more likely some organic numerology. But I don't know for sure, so don't take my word for it. I just want to point out how the word stroke sums to 88. And we talk about 88 being a significant number for circles and time. If you photograph the moon at each day during the lunar phase and then the sun each day during the year at the same time, you find that they make a figure 8 in the sky. This is called the analemma. And in these four circles that you find in 88, there's 1,440 degrees. The word time equals 144 in Jewish gematria. So there you have it, guys. A riddle completely coded with Vince McMahon, his founding of Titan Sports, all lining up with the death of Howard Finkel a little bit too well, you'd think. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks to everybody who jumped in the live chat. Keep spreading the truth about the coronavirus, COVID-19 which is that it's a government operation with the intent of eliminating our rights. I've been doing a lot of work on coronavirus. Please feel free to check out my channel for recent videos on celebrities who have allegedly died of the virus, as well as a number of news stories being reported by this same code of letters and numbers that the mainstream media loves to use in order to put its citizens under a spell. A spell which we, unfortunately, are responsible for breaking. All right, guys, peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya!